Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I thought I'd hop on and share the uh, stamps that I purchased from Impression Obsession when they had their April end of catalog um, purchase period available. Uh, basically, um, Impression Obsession stopped making their uh, wood mounted stamps and their cling mount single rub red rubber stamps. And uh, they gave the consumers the month of April to get in any orders for last minute stamps that they wanted before they made the catalog unavailable. So I wanted to be sure that I picked up some stamps that I've been wanting. Um, even though I'm on their design team, when I want something extra that's not provided to the design team. I just purchase it like any other consumer. So um, let me go ahead and share the stamps with you. Now the stamps that I'm going to be sharing you with you aren't available for purchase any longer from Impression Obsession, but you uh, may find them on the used marketplace. So um, I thought it'd still be handy to share them with you. So I picked up this stamp. I've wanted it for a really long time. Like it's been on my wish list for years. And um, I just really love this little cabin with the tracks in the snow. I thought this would make a fun um, winter card. There's even some smoke coming out of the ch chimney. And uh, this one is just called Cabin. Beautiful, beautiful uh, stamp. So I'm glad to finally have this in my uh, stash. So that's the only wood mounted stamp that I got. And then I th thought I'd show this with you too. I thought it was cute that they put a little hello on my <laughs> invoice. Um, so I have uh, quite a few stamps here from the Serendipity stamp line. I'll pull those out and share those first. And then I have some from Elisa Baker and then a couple other things to share. So this one is called Berry Spring, but I think it should actually say Berry Sprig, but maybe not. So I like that one. And then I picked up this one here. It's called Goldfinch, and the Goldfinch is the Washington State bird. Uh, there is the Marigold Seed Packet. I love growing marigolds, and I uh, thought that would be a cute stamp to have in my collection. <clears throat> this one is called Pine Swag. Again, I thought that would be beautiful for uh, Christmas or winter cards. Here's Partridge and Pear, and I just love the um, wood cut or linoleum cut look to their images. Beautiful. Then I picked up this one. This one's from Lindsay. Um, it's just a little potted plants or herbs. Actually, it doesn't come from the Serendipity line, but that's all right. Um, I also got this one. It's called Cooking Tools. I just think this crock is really cute with the rolling pin there behind and the measuring spoons. Uh, this one's called Winter Farm. And uh, I love that little scene. This is a nice sized stamp as well. And then there's this one here. <clears throat> there's the name there beautiful uh, window scene and then similar to the window scene I picked up the door and I got this one here Isn't that cute I just love the illustrative style of their, these images and then the last one from the serendipity line is this one here super cute that one's called birch candles and then let me share the ones I picked up from uh, Elisa Baker's line. Uh, so let's see. There's this one here. It's a little uh, flower pot with uh, doilies and a cute little nest of eggs there. That was fun. Um, there, I picked up this one. I liked how there's text and numbers on this and then the, the uh, distressing lines and dots in the background as well. So that'll be fun to use. And then uh, this one here, it's the little bear with the doll dress on it. So I thought that was cute to add to my collection. And then I picked up this one, little daffodils growing out of that broken flower pot. Uh, this little snowman is one that I didn't have, so I'm happy to have this one in my stash. And then I got a couple berry baskets. I got this one that looks like it's made out of like balsa wood or that thin veneer, wood veneer. And then I got this one here, which is more of like your uh, ceramic or paper pulp berry basket. Then I did pick up some of the strawberries. So there's that one there. Here's the one that's two strawberries. And then here's a strawberry that's slightly smaller. So fun. And then here's a strawberry plant. Cute, cute. And then I got a couple um, of other planters. So there's these stacked pots. I love these little like pulp pots. And then I got this berry basket as well. And then the last one from Elisa Baker is this one here, the little picket fence. I love these little birds on the flower pot and the spring flowers here. So really fun image. And then two other things that I ordered. Um, one of them 
is this die and I think this was on clearance um, I don't think they're going to be stocking this anymore but once it's gone it's gone so they they may have this die available on their website still it's die 169-r and it's uh, hollyhocks so I wanted to get that one and then this actually is still available for purchase they are continuing their six by six cover card stamps so if you have any of those or you want to pick any of those up from their catalog um, these are still active um, SKUs from impression obsession so uh, this is the stamp that I purchased um, and it is the recipe stamp and it's cover car CC 203 so cover a card 203 um, so there's chocolate sandwich cookies vanilla cookies uh, butter cheese cookies so various different uh, cookie recipes all overlaid on each other so I thought this would be fun to have and again I like the small text and uh, thought it would be good as a like a little bit of distressing or adding interest to the background of images. So that's my fun impression obsession order. Um, hopefully you were able to get your order in. I understand that they either are done with consumer orders from April or about to be done. So if you placed an order and you haven't heard from them um, what, regarding its shipping or anything like that, you might want to check in with them. Um, but I, I understand that they're done with all their, all their consumer orders now. So um, anyways i hope you enjoyed if you're interested in uh, maybe finding any of these on the used marketplace hopefully you have good luck and uh i am gonna look forward to using these fun stamps so thanks uh so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful week